Interstate 40 downtown Nashville was constructed to try to bring communities together in the late 1960s, but it ended up wiping out decades of history in North Nashville. Metro now wants to try to correct that wrong by bringing life back to the area. News Channel 5's Kelsey Gibbs spoke with one historian who says a plan will only work if the community is involved. Here under the I-40 bridge in the late 1960s used to be black businesses and black homeowners. That was before the construction of I-40. And today there is a push to bridge together what was once lost. There's a lot of history here that has been erased. Dr. Lerotha Williams says neighborhoods are like people. They are born, they grow up, and sometimes they die. He says this is what happened to North Nashville more than 50 years ago. But in essence, what occurred was the people um, were removed. They were displaced. Between 1935 to 1965, North Nashville was an affluent black middle class community. Del Morocco sat right across the street there, and it was a place more than anything else in the city that demonstrated the intimate relationship that um, these businesses had with the community. Williams, a historian and TSU professor, says it all changed. This interstate physically separated the community. According to Metro Nashville, the construction of Interstate 40 and Interstate 265, now I-65 in the 1960s, displaced 1,400 residents, businesses, churches, and pride, dividing the community where even streets now lead nowhere. On one hand, you have something that was supposed to um, make the community better, but in, on another hand, it devastates it. Williams says many in the community didn't even know about the construction until it was too late, but Metro Nashville is trying to right a wrong. A proposal would place an interstate cap over I-40 from Dr. D.B. Todd Jr. Boulevard to 17th Avenue North. It will also revitalize historical Jefferson Street. It can be if done correctly. Williams says this means the community has to have a say in what the development will look like. Kelsey Gibbs, News Channel 5. Thanks, Kelsey. The plan would also bring opportunity for some affordable housing and pedestrian safety.